up guys? Welcome to Life of Acro. I'm Acro Brandon and this is my life. Today we're going to talk about how to make a bullet time handle for the Insta 361X for $4. It's going to look a little something like this with some simple hardware from Home Depot or Lowe's and I'm going to show you how it's done and what it actually looks like and the kind of video it produces. So let's get started. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, feel free to hit subscribe. The next video that I make after this one is actually going to be talking about bullet time, some different tips, tricks, and techniques for getting good results out of the Insta360 One X. So if you've looked at the bullet time handle that they sell online, you can find them anywhere uh, on Amazon and they range anywhere between $20 to $50 depending on if you're getting a knockoff or something directly from Insta360 or from Insta themselves. Uh, I'm a big DIY kind of person myself, so as soon as I saw the handle, I was like, I bet I could probably make something like this with the hardware right from Home Depot. The nice thing about getting the handles that are online is that they're black, sleek, shiny. Uh, most of them have like a little tripod that comes out of the handle, so that's kind of nice if you want to have a handle that doubles as a tripod and you can stick the selfie stick on top or even just the Insta360 by itself. Uh, so it is multi-purpose. But if you're on a budget like I am, $4 sounds just right. It's super small, it's super compact, it fits in the bag, and it actually works great. Uh, I've had my Insta360 for just over four months now. Uh, I've used it in a few different locations. I was in Fort Collins for a week. Uh, I was at the St. Louis Arch this summer visiting my mom uh, and a bunch of different places where I broke out the Insta360 and the bullet time handle to uh, create some interesting shots there. Like I said, hit subscribe. I'm gonna be creating some more videos next on how to get the best out of it. But let's talk about this. This thing is very simple and very straightforward. You don't need to have a whole lot of technical knowledge. You will need a couple of tools, not many, to make this thing happen. But if you have uh, a, a, even a small assortment of tools, putting this together will be super simple. So the first thing that we're gonna need is you're gonna to wanna to start with the eye bolt. So, in the series of events when you go to the store, even though I'm gonna give you a part list, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to buy is a quarter 20 eye bolt. Okay, so I got the shortest one because you're not gonna need all of the extra length, so they have different length uh, quarter 20 bolts. Just get the shortest one that they have. Then after that, go down the aisle and find a bolt that fits inside of the eye bolt itself. If I recall correctly, I feel like this is a 3 8 inch bolt. Okay, and then the length is gonna vary depending on the size of your hand. I went for something five inches, but you know, if you're a size queen and you need a little bit more size, you could get something in the six or seven range, six or seven inch range if you have bigger hands. But just figure out what bolt you feel like fits perfectly inside the eye and then drop that through without it being too tight. So three eighths of an inch, I believe is the right thing. Then you're gonna need to get one nut. These nuts? <laughs> Okay, this is a nylon lock nut, which means that when you put this nut on, it will never back off by itself. It you can't really twist it by hand. You're gonna need a wrench in order to get this on. A socket will only get you so far, unless you have some kind of socket that is six inches long. Most people do not. So I used a wrench, but you could also use vice grips or anything like that. Then, you're gonna need two washers, okay? These are fender washers. These might be a 3 8 I don't quite remember, but whatever washer you want, you want it to fit over the end of the bolt just right, because sometimes there's a lot of play in washers, even though they say it's the same size as the bolt. So just pick and choose, pick them out. They're really cheap, okay? And then, for the eye bolt, okay? So uh, what we have here is a quarter 20 bolt, okay? You're gonna want a nylon lock nut for that as well. That way, when you put it on here, when you twist your selfie stick on here, it will actually have something to stop and mate up against, okay? You could use it all the way here and let it go all the way to the bottom of the threads, uh, but you're gonna wanna have the, the lock nut here, and I'll tell you why in just a minute uh, for fine tuning purposes, okay? Now, what I decided to do was take the bolt, okay? Drop one washer on, put the eye bolt on, 
another washer, and then the final nut, and then twist it all the way down so that it's at the head of the bolt and it's up here, okay? You're gonna need to find the right pressure so that this part of the eye bolt is not clamped down too hard, but not too loose so that, so that it wobbles up and down. You're gonna have to like fine tune it just right, and it's no big deal. Now, if you didn't want to turn it all the way down here to the head of the bolt, you very well could just take the bolt right here, right? Uh, and then put this uh, lock nut right here with this, and then you're gonna have to add an extra one and to make it a big sandwich, but this is gonna be the easier way to go with the least amount of uh, parts that you're gonna need, okay? Uh, so the reason that we wanna have the quarter 20 lock nut here is so that when you adjust the Insta360 at full extension, that the camera is facing down, okay? So I'm gonna show you this in just one second. Hold on, let me get the parts. Okay, so let's take a look at this, right? We've got the Insta360. Right now I have it on the selfie stick. Okay, the selfie stick is, for the most part, fully closed. Closed, not clothed, yes? Okay, so what would happen is right now, as I said before, on the bottom of the selfie stick, the uh, quarter 20 hole right here, it doesn't have like an end point. So you could put basically, I don't even know how long a bolt, but you could put any type of screw in there forever. So you need something for it to push up against that you can stop it, but you're also gonna want this nylon lock nut to fine tune it for your final position, okay? So when I screw it on, okay, and I'll put this light nylon lock nut on just maybe halfway and I can always change it later on if I want to. I'm gonna screw it on and then it stops and then when I push here, it's nice and snug, okay? Which actually works out perfect because right now, if you see the camera is facing up and down or at least the lenses are gonna be facing towards the ground and toward up into the sky so that way when you swing it over your head, you get a nice clean picture shooting down instead of it being sideways and having stitch lines while you're trying to swing it around, okay? So you wanna think about that, that the lens are facing down. But this is just at short range, right? So if I were to open this up, right, and undo everything in the selfie stick, yeah, and try to get it fully extended, there we go, it's all the way out, one, two, three, and four. This is typically how you're gonna use the selfie stick in bullet time. Okay, now if you look at it, it's actually off a little bit because I've used it at different lengths. So if you look at it here, we have full extension of the selfie stick, but look at the relation of my camera. Right now it's really on like a 45 degree tilt. Okay, so there's two ways to remedy this. One, okay, is I could shorten some part of my selfie stick until I get it right but that's too much fine tuning. So actually what I'm gonna do here, right, is if I continue twisting the selfie stick into the nut, the nut will actually move with the pressure because it's it feels like it's almost got like a wrench. And then when I look at the camera, I'm like, ah, perfect, right? Minor adjustment. Now as you come back, you can see, if I hold the stick in my hand, that the camera is perfectly perpendicular, is that the right word, or parallel with the ground? I don't know which one, not parallel parallel with the ground so that I get a nice clean image that's pointing up and down. Now, what's gonna be exciting in the next video that I create about using bullet time, not only with this handle, but with the uh, included line, what is that string that comes with it, the bullet time string, is playing with that. So now, look, at as I shortened this, this actually tethered up just right. So if you're playing with different lengths of the pole for your uh, bullet time videos, you're gonna get some interesting results, okay? And then when you're done, you just unscrew it, it comes back like this, bada boom, bada bing, yeah, it's nice, simple, and easy, okay? One last thing before I wrap this up, because it's just a nice, short, sweet video, okay? You wanna have just enough tightness so that this thing moves, okay? And right now, in my hand, as I spin it, I can get the eye bolt to spin around. But what's really gonna happen when you have this long selfie stick, and once you get that centrifugal force going, it's actually gonna start to pull on the eye bolt, which will create a little friction and it won't spin as freely as it would have because there's no bearing here, right? And I don't know how the other one's constructed, but I assume there's probably a bearing in there. But that's okay. What'll happen is as you start to spin this, the bolt will actually start to rotate in the hand as well. And that's okay, so you'll kind of hold it loose grip, but no one's gonna know, no one's gonna be the wiser. All right, so wrapping this up really quick, this is how you build a $4 bullet time handle. Instead of paying 20, 
30, 40, or 50. So once again, welcome to Life of Acro. I'm Acro Brandon. If you like what you're seeing, hit subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. And like I said, the next video coming out next week is going to be about bullet time with the handle, with the string, tips, tricks, and ways to get good creative bullet time videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.